Hello everyone, welcome back to Resin Nut. Today we're going to be making these uh, little frog molds. I decided to make a set of them and I have not used this one before. I've used a couple of other different frog molds but not this one yet. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do his eyes before or after and I think I'm going to do them before. And um, and, uh, it's always kind of nice to when you unmold these and they've already got eyes and you don't have to worry about it. So they're down in here. You can see through the head there. I don't know if you can see. I'm not sure if I'm at the right angle for you to see or not. But there's there's some indents in there where his eyes are. I'm sure I'm getting the right spot here. He's got an eyeball and an eyelid and I don't want to get his eyelid. Just this little eyeball. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make these guys just kind of, gosh, just kind of really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got some resin mixed up here, about, oh, five ounces of uh, J-Diction resin. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pour a bit into each one of these. They're just into the body part here. So this one is staying in. This one has gone over just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let, let some into the other leg there. So this, this body's kind of even. And this one's doing okay, too. Okay, so this is a chunky glitter. I've used it before. It's one of my, really, my favorites. See how pretty this is? You can see why it's one of my favorites, huh? <laughs> um, this may have come from Bling uh, Glitter Boutique. I'm not exactly sure. I bought a really big bunch of it a long time ago. Like, seriously, probably three years ago. So I can't remember exactly where I got it. Anyway, lots of different glitter places sell this type of glitter. So um, something similar out there. So I think what I want to do... Oh, you know what? How about this? How about we do one of each? How about we do one with the blood with the gold flakes, like the foil gold, like um, this kind, okay? Gold foil, because I also have these glitter flakes, uh, but that's a little too blingy for what I want. I want this to be with kind of more like this. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey, okay, thanks you guys. Made it really easy. Oh, thanks for helping me decide. <laughs> okay, so now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, okay, uh, I'm going to take the tiniest amount, and I'm not really very good at that. I'm really not. When I say tiny, I mean really tiny. And my fish that I just did really kind of shows that, that it didn't, didn't stay as tiny as I wanted. But um, I'm going to take some of this and literally just a little bit. These tiny spoons are great because you really can't get too carried away, especially if I just want just a bit on the tip there. And I'm going to just kind of sprinkle it. I'm going to start up in the head. Just kind of sprinkle it through. Okay, so a little bit into the feet. More, more up there in the head. And I'm hoping that this will kind of like, just kind of float a bit. And then when it gets a little thicker, I'm going to just stir it in to the mold just a little okay now the frog or this frog i mean it's going to be a little easier because i'm going to take one of my cups my half cups one of these half cut off bottles and i'm going to pour about half of this resin in here Let's see is that probably about that was probably about an ounce and a half or maybe two ounces okay so now i'm going to take some of my gold foil switch this out of the way i think this could really be have the potential to be really pretty okay i'm going to put just a few flakes in here 
pretty that is. This, um, if you haven't worked a whole lot with this kind of uh, the gold foil flakes, the gold foil, you know, and, and you can buy it in those jars. Um, this one came, I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon and it came with this gold, it came with silver, and it came with bronze in a, in a three pack. But I have used this for two years, this one and the silver and the bronze, and look how much I still have left. I mean, it lasts you forever. Let's go ahead and pour it into this one here. It kind of all around. So pretty here, get me to the head a bit. So here's this, he's gonna need to cure a bit. Now I'm also gonna take this now, I mean my resin isn't, it's not really getting warm yet, but I do want this, I don't want this to float. So I'm gonna just stir it just kind of gently and not, I'm not stirring it to the back of the frog. Okay, I mean, all the way down, just maybe about a quarter of an inch is all I'm putting my stick in there. Because I want it to kind of just gradually get thicker. And that's what I was really hoping to do with my, with that fish, my blue fish that I just did. Um, and that one, I just really got, it was just too much, too heavy handed. So this one, I'm going to be really careful not to let that happen. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And when these two guys cure, we will come back and do the next step. All right. Okay. I will see you all then. Okay, everybody. We are back to finish our frogs. They're completely cured and we're ready to move on to the next step. Um, this one, you can see the little bit of glitter that sank to the back. Um, of that one and that's okay that's going to just kind of add to that frog there and this one the gold is kind of mixed kind of evenly around in there okay we're going to be using this dark green sig wong uh, mica powder it's a really pretty kind of a darker almost a forest green and i think we're going to fill this rest of this frog up with this green and i think it's going to be really a beautiful effect with the gold foil. Now I don't want to use too much, but I definitely want this color to be opaque. So I'm going to just um, start with a little bit here and add as I need to to get that opaque color. Okay, you can see here that it's a really pretty green. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be quite as dark as I want it to be. Uh, let me look here for a minute. Okay, I think what I want to do is add just a little bit of black, like just a little bit on the end of a little coffee stir stick here, just to kind of darken the screen up a little bit and see if I can um, get it just um, kind of a little bit more opaque as well. But I just really kind of wanted this to be a little darker because of the gold foil. Okay, this is the color I'm looking for. It's kind of a darker green. That black just kind of helped um, put it over the edge. And I think this is going to be um, just really pretty. And it's definitely giving me kind of more of a frog color. And um, yeah, it's gonna go great with that foil. And I'm sorry that I'm out of frame. That's been an ongoing problem that in my audio lately. So I really apologize. I appreciate everybody's patience. Um, I'm hoping this weekend that I will be able to um, kind of redo my workspace. And so anyway, thank you for bearing with me. But now I'm just kind of pouring. I'm gonna pour this all the way full to the top making sure that I'm getting into each of the little toes and um, making sure that I don't have any bubbles up underneath his chin. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pouring really easily into this mold. That was just, just about enough, just barely any left over 
but this is completely full so I'm gonna leave him alone now and um, finish our kind of our white crystal frog okay I poured some into my half cup here and I'm just gonna add um, some more of that white chunky mirror ball glitter so pretty I know I keep showing it to you but just love it and um, yep now I'm gonna go a little bit thicker on this part of the glitter or the bottom part Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in there. Just so, such a crystal-y effect. Really pretty. Okay, giving it a squirt of alcohol there. And I'm sorry, I know I'm still kind of out of frame a bit here. But I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling this mold all the way up to the top. Just making sure I'm getting into the toes and watching for bubbles but that really hasn't been much of a problem even with this chunky glitter I just really haven't had any trouble with that with this J Diction resin okay I'm gonna leave these now to cure and then when they are done we'll be back tomorrow to demold them and I will clean up my little mess here and I will see you then Okay, everybody, I'm back to demold our frogs. They are completely cured, so I'm super excited to see how they turned out. I can see here on the back of this clear one that um, some of the glitter kind of sank to the back, but that's okay. Um, and pardon me, I have a little bit of a cold, um, but hopefully you can still hear me okay. I just wanted to get these unmolded because I was so excited to see how they turned out. And gosh, I'm gonna do this one first. It looks like it's just kind of got a really kind of a crystal effect to it. Really pretty so far. Okay, you can see the inside of him. He's really pretty, really crystally looking. That's why I just really love that glitter so much. So let's turn him over and see how he looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is one blingy, sparkly frog. Look how pretty that turned out. His eyes are painted black with the paint marker. And wow, he's really pretty. Really, really pretty. What do you guys think? Can you see how sparkly he is? Ah, really pretty. I love I love the little rounded feet on this mold. So cute. Okay, gosh, that is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Happy with that one. Okay, let's get the green one out and see how it did with the um, gold foil flakes. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Here we go. That one little last piece out of there. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it turned out. Here it goes. Oh gosh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. That would be really pretty on a desk or sitting on an end table or something. Oh my gosh. That turned out really pretty. What do you guys think? You see the depth in there and where the gold foil kind of, um, you know, some of it sunk to the bottom, but there's some floating in there. Gosh, that turned out really pretty. And this one, we painted the eyes on this one as well. And, um, oh gosh, that turned out really pretty. So I don't know which one is my favorite. The white one is just kind of really pretty and, and sparkly, but I really love this green one. I think the green one might be kind of my favorite. It's kind of a darker forest metallic green. And then with that gold foil, 
really, that turned out really pretty. Really pretty. Yep. What do you guys think? What did you think of this project? And I know the color choices were just kind of all out there um, since I decided to do two and really mix it up with the colors. But, you know, I was going to do this one with a black background. And I'm really glad that I chose this dark green. Super pretty. All right, you guys. Gosh, I'm loving these. I think this one might have to, or actually they both might have to come and um, stay in my house somewhere. <laughs> really loving those. All right. Let me know what you thought of this project and let me know if you have any new ideas of something different we could even try with them. Um, I've got lots and lots of new molds coming up and um, some different techniques and different things that I'm excited to try with you guys. So until then, have a great day. Have a good night tonight and I will see you guys all next time.